Assalamu alaikum. I told you that we will talk about aliens very soon, and we'll talk about it in two different parts. Today is the part one of our discussion. So, are there aliens? Yes. Have you seen one? Yes. You have even, you have seen one. Where? Look at yourself in the mirror. I should look at myself. Look around you. We are all aliens. We don't belong on planet Earth. We, if you look at our history, where did we come from? Open the Quran. Open Surah Al-Baqarah. Look at ayah number 30. What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell to angels? وَإِذْ قَانَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to angels that I am creating a khalifa for the earth. But where was this khalifa created? You tell me, where was Adam alayhi salam created? Was he created on land? Was he created here on planet earth? No. He was created up in heavens. Where did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the angels that, okay, now you tell me the names of these things and the angel says, said, we don't know. La ilma lana illa ma'allamtana. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Adam alayhi salam everything. Qala ya Adam anbi'hum bi asma'ihim. O Adam, you tell them the names of these things. Where did all this conversation took place? In the Jannah, in, in, in the heavens, not on the planet earth. Where did the Iblis denied Allah's orders? Up in the heavens, not on the planet earth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered Adam alayhi salam and his wife Hawa alayhi salam. Where did he order them to live? وَقُلْنَا يَا آدَمُ اسْكُنْ أَنْتَ وَزَوْجُكَ الْجَنَّةِ They were living in Jannah. They're not from here. They were destined to come here, but they were certainly not created here. And then what happened, long story short, Eventually, when they were destined to come down here, what are the ayahs in the Quran? If you come, in, this, is, this is all in Surah Al Baqarah between the ayah number 30 and 40. Read it yourself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Then when it was time for them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقُلْ نَهْبِطُوا بَعْضُكُمْ لِبَعْضٍ عَدُوُ And in another place says, قُلْ نَهْبِطُوا مِنْهَا جَمِيعًا Allah said, to all of them, who are all of them? Adam alayhi salam, Hawa alayhi salam, and Iblis. Go down. Descend from here. Where to descend? To the planet Earth. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we ask them to leave from here. وَلَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مُسْتَقَرُّ وَمَتَاعٌ نِلَاحِينَ your dwelling place for some time will be planet Earth or Ard, any Ard, any planet it could be, but happened to be said they were sent down to the planet Earth. So this is where you will live, not forever, till the destined time. So now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also gave an order, And I will make sure the guidance keeps coming to your offsprings, Adam. And when the guidance comes from me, in the forms of revelations to my prophets and messengers, I will send down books so that the, your, your children and their children, your offsprings are guided. And whoever takes the guidance, فَمَنْ تَبِعَ هُدَايَ فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ They are the successful one. They have nothing to worry about in this life and thereafter. So where exactly did we come from? Our father, Adam alayhi salam, and our mother, Hawa alayhi salam, both of them were created not on the planet Earth. They were created in the heavens. And they were, they descended down here. Is this our permanent place? No. This is not even our permanent place. So where do we all go? We have to go back to where our parents were living in the Jannah. That's exactly what this life is. This life is just a test. That's it. That's why when the humans are living, if you, if you are looking at this from a logical perspective, you answer these questions that I'm asking you. Are we older? If we, have we been living on this planet for longer time or animals, plants, and other species? And you would say, of course, everybody. We were the last to come. Okay. Now, who had evolved socially, economically, 
who have done all the all the changes, who have made all the changes, who have progressed, you'll say only humans. Lions still hunt the same way that they were hunting like 10,000, 20,000 years ago. They still raise their kids the same way. They never built schools. They never bought from them any clothing. They didn't, they didn't invent new hunting styles. They didn't come up with new ways to capture their enemies or their enemies did not come up with new ways to guard themselves. Everybody is living in a natural habitat. For them, this is all natural. This is an insect's planet, and everything else is dwelling around it, and everybody is living in its natural habitat. It is we who came and built the roads, built houses, and we're not satisfied. We want to build better houses. We want to have more facilities. Uh, we want to extract things out of this planet and want to build other things. We want, we want to extract iron. We want to extract copper. We want to extract gold. We want to extract silver. We want to make jewelry. We want to have, have high-rise building. We want to have better clothes. Uh, we want to have air conditioning. We want to have heating. We want to have better education system. We want to do research. We want to excel. We want to Leave the planet Earth and go and explore other planets. Why? This, this whole idea is in our heads, but none of the other beings' heads. Because we are not for him here. Now, if you look at our mindset, our mindset is of a Jannah. If you look at each and every individual, what do they want? They want to live like a king. They want to have servants to serve them. They want to have a big palace. Um, a waterfront house, all the amenities, they don't want to work. This is a Jannah attitude. We got a Jannah attitude. Now that's how the life will be in Jannah. The, the water streams are flowing through your palaces, right? You have thousands of servants for you. You don't have to do a thing. You're just laying down and you're getting served from all directions. This is a different thought process from any other being. So logically... We're aliens. Technically, also we're aliens to this planet Earth, right? What is an alien? Somebody who doesn't belong and came from outside. That's exactly, we came from outside. That's why we are just staying here for some time and then eventually we are going somewhere else. We came from somewhere else. We came from a special world called the world of souls to this world where we were given a material body, and then when the soul leaves the body, goes into the world of Barzakh, and then stays there, and then till the day of judgment, and then the soul is transformed back into a body, only to go to the next destination where you are Khalidi Rafiha. Either you are in the Jannah or in the Jahannam, but it is the eternal life. Animals are not dealt with that way. Birds are not dealt with that way. Insects are not dealt with that way. Trees and mountains are not dealt with that way. So yes, we are the aliens on the planet Earth. We are the one who have so many different languages that we speak. And we can learn multiple languages. We can communicate differently. We can evolve in our communication skills. We can improve. We can have proficiency. We have scalability. We have performance. We have efficiency. All of these skill sets, we are constantly acquiring soft skills and hard skills. Improving buildings, civilizations, global village, communication, transactions, economic cycles, you name it. We have, we have it. We're improving it. We're doing it. We're making better. So definitely, we are different. Now comes the question, are there other beings besides us in the universe? Does Quran say anything about that? We'll talk about it in part two. Assalamu alaikum.